Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. Today, I'm going to be walking you through the Nintendo eShop as it appeared on the Nintendo 3DS before the shutdown. Uh, now I'm recording this in, in early February 2023, so by the time that you're watching this, it may already be shut down. Uh, the dates, there are specific dates. It gradually, sh uh, it gradually shut down um, over the course of about a year, I think. So the last date to add funds via credit and debit cards, I have this written down, was May 23rd, 2022. The last date to use eShop gift cards was August 29th, 2022. And the last date to buy games at all is March, was, is, well, currently is March 27th, 2023. I'm going to also be doing a Wii U eShop video tour. Now these, the video tours for the 3DS and Wii U eShops will be similar to that which I did for the Nintendo DSi shop and the Wii Shop channel. So you can check those out in the description too if you want to. Anyway, this part is going to go through the various ways you can open the 3DS eShop and then I'm going to be going through the menus, the basic menus. I'm not going to be doing too much in detail today, but I will be starting off with like the documentation, how you use the 3DS eShop like I did for the other ones. Oh, before we get started, I need to mention that I, I recorded videos and took pictures of adding funds via the via credit and debit cards and eShop gift cards. So there's no, so there's even more information here than there was for the 3DS or then for the Wii shop channel and DSi shop series. So getting started uh, with this, uh, we can go here. Uh, you can either launch it right from the home screen, it might be somewhere else. It varies. You can move these around like this. Like you can move them around. So, so it might be somewhere else depending on where you put it. Now I'm this is the 3DS home menu music. Um, I'm well the default one. I just have the blue theme because I really like the blue color theme, and I I just like blue in general. I'm going to be also I'm recording using both my main desktop microphone and the camera microphone right around here, right around here. Oops. So. The camera's microphone is going to be used to pick up uh, the the music and sounds in the 3DS eShop, so that you can hear that. Because my desktop microphone can't really pick that up so well, so it'll kind of mix between the two. Um, yeah, but I'll have to be quieter because I'm recording both the audio on the audio on both just as a backup. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, sorry for taking so long on that, uh, you can either launch it from here, or right under here, you scroll down, you, you use this button up here, I don't know what it's called, a uh, home menu settings, I guess. Uh, and then you scroll down here, and you can just open it from there. First, I'm going to check the manual for the eShop app, application, instruction manual. So we've got instructions here. Oh, and you can do it in multiple languages too. See, different languages. So we've got information here, and I'm just going to kind of scroll through these to show you. Oh, and they actually, you can actually swipe between them like pivots. I miss Windows Phone so much. So it's right here. Here's the information. 
I'll just kind of be scrolling through it so you can read it in case some in case it gets taken offline or something or in case something happens to it. It's kind of hard for me to see it, see the 3DS right now because of how I'm recording it, but yeah. I'll be putting music on in the background. It really bothers me how Nintendo's like, oh, you can't back up or archive your software. Like, what happens when the when you can't use the disc anymore? Or the cartridge breaks or something? What do you do then? No. N just don't play it. Like, no, that's... I mean, sure, you might have bought a license for a game. But, like, if you have the files and you have a means to copy them and play them elsewhere... Go ahead and do it. You, you should be allowed to do that. You know, you know what I mean. I mean, plus, it's, it's your copy. Okay, so here's the actual details for the eShop instructions. Oh, and you can enlarge it if you need to. Oh, so that's it's bigger now. And reduce. I'll make it larger so that it's easier to read on the video. At some point within the last few years, as of when I'm recording this, I think they took the DSiWare off the eShop or something. I don't, I don't remember for sure, but it was something about that. They did something like that, I think. Oh, and when you touch it, when you scroll, it kind of makes noises. That should be getting picked up on the camera. Also, same thing with the buttons, the D-pad. And when you reach the bottom, it makes another sound to tell you that it's the end. It's like it's a knocking on a door sound or something. It's the one that knocks. Oh, I do need to mention, 
I forgot about this. Until March 27th, 2023, you can use, or could, um, if you linked your Nintendo Network ID with your uh, Nintendo, the new, nin, new Nintendo account, whatever it's called, the, the one that you use on the Switch, if you link them, you can, uh, if you, you can link your account balance. So you could add funds on the Switch eShop and then use it on the 3DS and Wii U eShops so that you can, you could get around that. If you needed any, to do any last minute purchases, you could do that. Or, you know, uh, if you miss out on it, you could always be a real man of the sea. Or however you had it on five, of course. And every so often as you scroll it makes a different makes a noise. Like that. Okay, that's weird. So apparently if you have a balance on the system that doesn't match your current country of the currency of your current country setting it's non-transferable and they'll delete it that's not fair <laughs> okay this kind of makes sense you won't be able to look at any account activity on the system it, that was from on the Wii U that was on the 3DS prior to linking a Nintendo Network ID account. I mean, because it's kind of not in your account. But it would be nice if it synced it. But I, I would be more worried about Nintendo messing something up with that. Okay, now we're on to the welcome screen information. So this just shows you different things on the screen. It is me, Mario. Oh, there's the DSi collection there. I image DSiWare. I mean, Virtual Console and the Move to 3DS application. What I don't remember what that's called. I don't even think I ever downloaded that. So yeah, that's all there. That's actually possibly an older version. Well, it's a screenshot. It's a screenshot of the eShop interface from a long time ago. So it's it's archived, a different version is archived in there. We'll be going through the menu later. And all the all the different things. These are just like searching, filtered search. Icons. All right, there's software search. You can search by keywords, do filtered search, search by preset category. It's kind of hard to see it around the camera around the microphone and tripod and stuff. And oh, that's it, wow, okay. And then you can sort and filter from the search results, which is nice. And then this is what a game 
or what a software page looks like. I will be going into this in much more detail by scrolling through actual uh, pages. Okay, and then there's ratings, price, ratings, name of the program. I will be rating games on both the Wii U and 3DS versions of this series, so don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Um, account balance? Oh yeah, account balance. Software details. Some have demos available. You need a Nintendo Network ID to download demo versions of software. They have a limited number of startups and playtime, except for the uh, Smash 3DS special demo. That one let you play it an infinite number of times, uh, and you would the way that you would get that is Nintendo emailed people, just randomly emailed people uh, codes to download it, which was which is very cool. And I actually managed to get a copy of it. It was very fun to play it before launch. Sadly, I never managed to give anyone else a code because no one else that I was in contact with at the time had a 3DS, so it's like, uh, kind of disappointing. I will be showing the LC pages as well. Uh, okay, I won't be able to show um, games being put on a wish list and then having a notification show up simply because it's so late that I don't know if there would be anything possible. So, yeah. Well, I do need to show notifications when I'm done with this. I think that's enough for this part. I'll continue through the a manual in the next part. Um, goodbye for now.